Hello. It's, um, it's Friday. We're back with some more... The more of this game. The game you guys all know and love. The game with the animals, the friends. Here we are. Here we are. Alright, uh, welcome Stream Elements. Welcome Duck, welcome Cyani. Um, props not Jack and Hamflo and Just Cerebro. Hope you're all doing well on this day. On this day, which is Friday. As you might have noticed, I didn't go to the title screen at all. I just started immediately on the puzzle. This is a this is to avoid content ID match. Welcome big N. Okay, so it's Friday. I, uh, at, like at the end of every month, we have this uh, this this thing at work. Where we have like a developers group meeting. We just talk about stuff. And unfortunately, since the company is very remote, uh, this meeting occurs at four to five p.m. Eastern time on Friday. And uh, I, I'm sure, like in California, it's more reasonable, right? Four four p.m. is like one p.m. over there. So that's like a reasonable time. But me, I'm like, as soon as it's like 4.55, I'm just thinking like, I gotta like, I gotta stream, I gotta do. <laughs> so I just turn my camera off, then I start, you know, preparing. And uh, this time they ended, they ended on time. So it's fun. And now here we are. Here we are. We're solving the puzzles. Uh, last time we had a puzzle which was pretty, pretty confusing and I didn't actually finish it. We tried a bit of the, uh, the big puzzle mode. You guys remember that? That was, that was really confusing. But I thought, I thought it was interesting. It was an interesting take on things. Twitch.tv speedrun. I'm speedrunning right now. Look at how fast I'm going. This is like so fast. You've never seen someone go this fast. Literally, literally not even possible. Okay, so this one... We got the 7, right? If you look at this one, we got the 4. Got the 1. And got the 7. Okay, so it's gotta go... It simply must be here. Faster than Flash. The Flash? Or Flash like... Macromedia Flash? Adobe Flash? I don't know if that flash was pretty fast. It was, it was maybe a bit slow as far as as far as things go. But yeah. Now the weekend's coming up. Got anything anything going on this weekend? Anything anything happening? I don't even know. So actually, at the end of yesterday's stream, I I was like. I felt like playing more Dark Souls, so then what I did was I started a new save file. And uh, I got up to... I defeated the Taurus Demon in about like 20 to 30 minutes-ish. And I was like, man, remember last time? It took me like a whole <laughs> two hours to do that. Or like an hour and a half. It was a long time. Okay, let me reload. Let me reload my, my Redeems page. Here we go, you get your fried egg on a Friday. Uh, but then I died. I died. I lost I lost about 7,000 souls. Because after I beat the, the Taurus Demon, I got to that that place with the with the dragon that spits fire at you. And then it died, and then I was like, oh it's fine, I can go back there. And then I died. And then I lost I lost everything. You guys relate when you're you're out there and you're fighting a dragon and then and then the dragon kills you and then you lose all your souls. So relatable, right? Extremely the most relatable content. Oh well. It's fine. I had no attachment to that save file. I didn't know I had nothing else to do. Other than other than watching people streams. I tuned into part of Hamflow stream. He was playing Mario Picross. And he was doing that 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 uh that level that we were also stuck on last time. 
The one with the bald eagle. Here, you guys remember that level? That was a wacky level. We had to use, um, we had to assume things about the bottom right. We had to be like, well, contradictions, this thing's here and it can't be there. And then that's the one that I solved exactly on time. Or actually, no, I, I, I failed to solve it on time, but then I went back. And then with an additional, like, five seconds, and I, then I solved it for real, for real. Yeah, it was one of the levels. It's definitely, definitely one of those levels. You know how it is. You guys know. You understand. We got some Picross gamers up in here. Some people that truly understand the, the meaning of Picross. Okay, let's look at this one. We got the one. We got the one, 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 as they say. We got the six. Oh, this is just math. It's that easy. It's that easy. You got this one. You got that one. You got this one. You got the edge right there. You got these. You got that one. You got the. Uh, it's gotta be here that one. Level was bald eagle, not because eagle was bald, but player was supposed to go bald. Um, I cannot confirm, nor deny. Their bald eagles aren't even really bald. They just have this like white spot on their head. And people are like, why well, he's bald? No, it's just, it's, it's just an eagle. Come on, guys. It's just a, a thing. Okay, we have this one. We got the edge right there. We have these. We have solved this entire column. I think I think that's pretty cool. Okay, this has got to be the three then, right? And this is one of the twos. We got this one. This is one. This is the two. This is the three. We got that two. It's gotta be the three. This as well has to be a three. Oh no, we're already at the part where I'm just saying numbers. Oh no. <laughs> How did this happen? How could this happen? Okay, so that has to be there. This has to be here, right? Yeah, we got that one. We got this one. We got the one one redeemed. One one redeemed. That's pretty cool. Eagle doesn't have to have hair to begin with. Aren't we being gaslit? It has feathers. I think you could you could say the feathers are like hair, right? Does bald necessarily refer to hair though? You could be bald with like feathers. Or rather bald without feathers. You will never be balling. Yeah, there's the numbers. There's the numbers. Everyone, everyone loves to see the numbers. They tune into the stream and they're like, oh, there he is. There he's going. He's saying numbers. This is, exa this is exactly what, what I say like that. This is exactly what I'm watching. Wow. The really funny dialogue of, of just saying numbers. Okay, there we go. Being at being at bald bald Wookie from Star Wars. No, what does that even look like? Welcome, Printer Man. Eight is not equal to seven. Uh, you are correct. You are correct. I could not say that this is that. Uh, well, it has to be here. Okay, well, this is not there. So true. Thank you for that. Otherwise, it would have taken me, like, several minutes to find out that I was wrong. And I think that's cool. I think it's cool that I don't have to wait several minutes to find out that I'm wrong. In fact, if I'm wrong, I would like to be, uh, notified immediately. Right? In programming, we call this, um, <laughs> compile time guarantees. You know, if it doesn't compile, then... You don't have runtime errors, you know? You got, uh, you get runtime errors and then you deploy to production and then it's too late and then you find out you've misconfigured somewhere and there's like a type system error and something, something's wrong. 
two is not three. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> Look at this compiler. We got compilers. Chat is the compiler. Helping me out with this, this information. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You guys, you guys use compilers? Okay, well, that's there. That's there. Uh, welcome, Vestox. Welcome, Lore Master Andrew. Who is Best Kimono Friend? I don't know. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite Kimono Friend? Compiler? I hardly even make these jokes anymore. Okay, so this has got to be the three. Um, three, two, four. The four could be here. We simply don't know. My brother is programmer, but I don't know what you says. So a compiler is when you take a program and you uh, convert it to machine code that can be executed. And so sometimes when you have like a syntax error or like, like a type error, it's like, oh, look, this thing's wrong. Can you please fix this so that I can run the program? And that's that's how things go. Welcome, Slime Molder. But then there are other languages that are that are interpreted languages, and they don't necessarily have compile time guarantees. So if you have a mistake in your code, um, you'll find out when you try to run it, and then when it gets to the point where you can run it, and then it's like, oh, look, something's wrong, and then it crashes. And so when I was making a reference to like. You know, compile time guarantees and how chat is acting like a compiler. No, I guess it's more like an interpreter that tells you the compile time. I, I guess we could interpret as if I am compiling this program. Are we in the compilation phase or the runtime phase? I think it could be argued either one. I simply don't know. Compilers are crazy. The funniest one is Python, which we're just saying. Python's not a compiler. What are you talking about? Python's interpreted. An interpreter language. Okay, we got uh, we got the three, we got the two. Sounds like I need to recommend your streams to my brother. I don't talk about programming like that much, right? And also because your programmer, sorry, your uh, I was gonna say your programmer is not a brother. Sorry, your brother, even though your brother is a programmer, doesn't mean that he's uh, he's always interested in hearing people talk about programming. Actually, speaking of programmers. I think last time on the fishing stream, someone mentioned, um, I was like, which channel do you think has the highest concentration of, like, you know, programmer audiences? And someone mentioned Anthony Wright's code, and I was like, oh, I don't know who that is, whatever. But then, like, I was watching Chocojax's stream that same day, and then she raided into him, and I was like, what the heck? We were literally talking about this guy on my stream. He was, he was, like, programming a Pokemon thing, with, like, he was doing raids, he was doing, like, image recognition to help him do raids or something. I don't know, but uh, I, I thought that was a that was a nice coincidence, right? He's also not a VTuber. <laughs> I didn't think he was a VTuber, but just to clarify, he's not a VTuber. You're running, not compiling our info. Yeah, but what is, like, what is to say that this is not the compilation phase? Right. What if I? What if this program is what I'm writing right now? Even if he won't be interested in Funny Chibi Man talk about programming, he can still watch Funny Chibi Man. Is that me? That's me. Okay, let's see. What else can we do here? We got that two. Okay, there's a two somewhere here. Do we have to start doing like contradiction strats? We can't simply. We can't simply like infer from this logic. This could be here. To me, this feels like we have to do, we have to assume things and then try to like, try to mark stuff off. The one, one, two, one, one, two, two, one, three column. Oh, okay, we have this. I didn't even look at this. Okay, so the four's gotta be here. The one, one, three, one, one. Oh, shoot, you're also right. Okay, so the two's got up here. Gotta gotta be there. Okay, this simplifies things a lot. The three can't be here. Uh, there's nothing here. There's two. Okay, this one. 
can't be there. So the three's got to be here. We got nothing else. The three can't be there. Yeah, the two can't be there. Okay, we got this one. We got that one. We got these ones. Got that one. This one. Okay, we did not have to assume. That's a... That's a yeah, that's a waterfront. Definitely. <laughs> it's definitely a waterfront. Whoa, is that beaver? Is that where beaver is? Whoa, look, it's a beaver. It's a waterfront for the beaver. That's pretty cool, right? Look at that design in the back. It's like a, like a giraffe. Giraffe? But yeah, that was pretty cool. You know, we were talking about someone and then, and then I, I find out about them in the same, uh, <laughs> in the same day. The water, the front of the water, the back of the water. It's on the other side of the lake. Yep, that's what they say. That's that's why the chicken crossed the uh, the water. The the other side, the back. Classic. Okay. Uh. Seven. So how do people say water? They don't say water. They say water. Because ever since yesterday's stream, like when Mint was like, Oh, you pronounce water just like a New Yorker. <laughs> like, what does that mean? I know people have mentioned it before, but I'm just like, how do people pronounce water? We've, we've been over this subject. Water? Did they say water? They say water? Water? Like war turtle? Did they say war tor? Water? <laughs> water? Water? Okay, people say water. That seems weird. That seems weird to me. You guys say water. Mizu. That's Japanese. You know, if you, you can say Mizu for water in general, but then if you say... You say Ohia, that's like... It's like iced water. Now you learn. Now you know. If you want to say ice water, you say... Ohia. Welcome, Namington. I say water, 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 agua, since seeing this one, water and water and water, <laughs> Walter, anyone here say Walter, Walter White from uh, Breaking Bad, you could, you could say it like that. Okay, we got this one. Sorry, the three goes here. Got the seven, so it's gotta be here. You got the three. Okay, it's there. Walter, <laughs> Walter, we need to cook. That's what. That's what he says. Walter White, the dad from Malcolm in the Middle. That's exactly. That's exactly what he sounds like. Yep, that's him. That's that's Mr. Walter also. Um let's see, what else can we infer from this? We got the all these numbers are really small. How are they so small? This makes it difficult to solve this puzzle. No, we can't even <laughs> what can we even do here? Okay, let's look at two one four three. We got this three, we got the four. The one and the two. Okay, so the two can't overlap. Got the one. We got the four. What did I say before? We got the three there. So the four's gotta be here, right? Yeah, we got this three. We got the four. The two, one. Hold on, wait. Did I do this right? Two, one, four. No, this is wrong. So only the four is here. All right, we can do two, one. Four, three. Okay, wait. The three can be there. We got the three. We got the four. Okay, no, this is this could be there. Walter, welcome Zoli. Walter Waltington. It's me. It's me. It's me, Walter Waltington. Okay, so this can't be there. 
Um, is this, this could be with the number, we get the numbers here. Welcome Duke Exeter. Okay, alright, so, <laughs> we get the five, the five could be here, uh, we get the one, the five here. No, this could, this could be that, it could be literally anything. have this three let's look at this one two one two three one two one two three oh wait we can do that. okay we do that do the three we got the two here so this is this gotta be well the five could still be here and the five could be there what are you guys what are you guys doing literally right now besides watching the stream you guys do anything this weekend? You got any any weekend plans? This is the classic discussion topic of Friday streams is you guys doing things. <laughs> Welcome Deffens. RuneScape, lying in bed, gen genuinely doing nothing to nap. This look at how fast chat is going. As soon as you ask them what they're doing, everyone's like, I'm gonna say what I'm doing. Okay, let's see. Lying in bed, that's good. RuneScape? Old school RuneScape? Does anyone play, like, new RuneScape, though? Every time I see people talking about RuneScape, it's always like, oh, we're playing old-school RuneScape. None of this new-school stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stream delay. I don't know what you're responding to. I don't even know. When a streamer asks a question, and then before the, the stream gets to you, they ask another question that might have conflicting answers. But you said yes. And then the streamer doesn't know what the yes was in response to. If you play RuneScape 3. Wait, RuneScape 3? There was a RuneScape 2? I had no idea. Or Rark Souls 3? Few people play Rark Souls 3. <laughs> okay, let's see. Besides RuneScape. Okay, lying in bed. That's pretty good. It's like a, it's time to get rest. Weekend plans are to nap. Oh, a lot of people just out here lying in bed and resting. That's pretty good. Painting stuff and 3D printing. Whoa. 3D printing is pretty cool. It seems like a, an expensive hobby though. <laughs> Unless you know someone with a 3D printer. Those things, those things are like, you know, thousands of dollars, depending on quality. Old school RuneScape is RuneScape 2? Wait, really? Then what is RuneScape 1? RuneScape, RuneScape Classic? Okay, so old school RuneScape, <laughs> it was, it's, it's not even, it's not even like the first RuneScape. That's weird. Are they? I thought 3D printers are only a couple hundred bucks. Well, I mean, that's still, that's still a lot of money, right? Hundreds, thousands, what's the difference? I mean, okay, there is a big difference. But, like, it's still a large quantity of money. Let's see, watching old anime? Literally shrimping? Oh yeah, you guys make sure to sit up. I'm gonna sit up as well. I'm gonna adjust my mic so that I'm sitting up properly. Here we go. Now I'm sitting up more straight than before. Yeah, I think uh, a few hundred bucks. Probably, I guess, the lower end. Maybe. Posture. True. I'm sitting up straight right now. Right now. Let's see. FDM printers. I don't know what that is. <laughs> FDM. Dungeon Master from Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, hold on. So the two, we have a two, one, one. Two could be here. Otherwise, what if you had the two? Hold on. Okay, two, the two, if we had a two here, then this has to be the one. There's another one. Oh wait, okay, okay. It has to be this then. It has to be this. 
Wait, does it have to be this? It doesn't. <laughs> no, the two. Yeah, this two has to be here. Because you can't have the one there. Okay, so that's the two. We got the three. We got this one. This has to be the three. And then we got this one and this one. Uh, late 90s anime adaptation of the novel Daddy Long Legs. I have no idea what that is. Never heard of this this old school anime. Back in the day. Okay, it can't be here. FDM is basically melted extruded plastic. Most common 3D printer. But what does it stand for? What is it? What does the F the FDM stand for? Fire destroys plastic <laughs> plastic metals never heard anything this woozy it's so woozy. it's so woozy fused deposition modeling matter fire destroys matter it true it truly does you ever think about it it does destroy matter in a way that does matter. It matters so much. In fact, it matters perhaps too much. It's too much. Now I am full. Sorry, I didn't read your other message. <laughs> okay, when streamer reads one message and then did, didn't read the other ones and has no context. Let's see, grabbed a package of noodles by the wrong end and had too much to cook. Dang. Dang, you guys cook? You guys know how to cook? I do not know how to cook. But I know how to microwave things. I know how to... <laughs> I know how to boil water. Whoa. I know how to, um... Use the toaster oven. You guys have a toaster oven? I find that some people, they don't. Right? Some people don't have a toaster oven. How do you guys, how do you guys heat things then? We don't even know. I won't starve. Yo, just like the video game known as Don't Starve. Anyone out here starving? Not me. I am not starving at all. Let's see, I do indeed know how to cook. I'm making pasta with spinach. Yo, pasta? Is it pasta with the, with the tomato sauce? You can have many different types of sauces with your pasta. Welcome, Moonybug. No, it's naughty. That's not even letters. That's symbols. No, you used a symbol last time. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, let's see. I have an oven. Don't have a toaster oven. I think my family never really used ovens, right? You guys have you have <laughs> can't talk. You guys know this thing or like. Some families, they don't use ovens, and then they put, uh... They just store their pots and pans in the oven. Instead of, you know, using <laughs> using the oven. Can you guys relate? Using the oven as, as storage. And not actually for heating. That's my main oven. Yeah, truly relatable. Everyone here, you can relate. <laughs> you guys relating? Hey, I'm struggling here. Hey. That's me. That's me. Okay. I don't use the toaster often, though. Do people still use, like, the regular toasters for, like, the, the ones that can handle two slices of bread? It feels weird to have something specifically for toast, right? I guess if you're eating toast really often. Yes? Okay, I haven't seen one of those old-style toasters in a long time. I mean, besides Toaster Koishi, who is in chat sometimes. <laughs> what is the irregular toaster? The, uh, the toaster oven. Toaster oven. You can toast bread in a toaster oven as well. I guess maybe it's less efficient. Whatever, I don't know. Let's see, is your secondary oven the toaster oven? Um... Yes. I also have an air fryer. You guys ever, ever air fried stuff? 
Let's see, I have a toaster that's older than me. It must be like super inefficient then. You know those like Energy Star whatever. <laughs> Energy Star compliance. 2411 column. Why did I assume the top one as a one? Okay, 2411 column. 2411 column. Why did I assume this one as a one? Um, because this is a two, right? If I know this is a three, then this two has to be here. Oh, wait, but this could be... Oh yeah, you could have the four. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're so right. Wow. Namington, they do not say that. Toasters toast bread. It produces toast. I think your logic is flawed. Let's see, whole grain stuff. T love toasting regular bread. What do you consider as regular bread? <laughs> like when you think of bread by default, you think of white bread? Think of wheat bread? Multigrain bread? Italian, Italian herbs and cheese from, from somewhere. There's gotta be someone someone out there whose default thought when they think of bread is Italian herbs and cheese from Subway. There's gotta be. There's gotta be someone out there. You know, there's like the people who eat McDonald's literally every day. And then like 30 years later they write a news article about them. They're like, this guy, this guy's been going to McDonald's every day for 30 years. When we asked him why he, he does it, he just says, I think it's pretty good. And then that's it. <laughs> Am I questioning the wisdom of Hotel Mario? No. Who? Mario? Uh, the toasters, yeah. Toaster's not even here for this discussion about toasters. Unbelievable. You just who? Who's Mario? No, I said who? What is the Hotel Mario? What is that? All right, goodbye, Cyanny. I wake up tomorrow on reasonable time. What's a reasonable time to wake up? Let's see, every time I come here, there's a new emote. That was the only emote I've met. I've added in like the past few uh, few months. It's a follower-only emote, which is why you can only use it on this channel, unfortunately. That's strange. I don't like that they do that. I would love to use follower emotes everywhere. And I guess they're not called follower emotes. Oh yeah, we got the dance. <laughs> we got the dance one. Okay, so there's two emotes that are different. We got the uh, the Walfa's dance created by Karagi. We got the gasp. There it is. Old CDI game. Oh, is that, is that the one that they make um, all those YouTube videos of? You got the CDI Zelda games. You got the CDI Mario. It's like Hotel California, except Mario. <laughs> Follower emotes are cronge. So true. So true. Not based, but cronge. I think you should be able to use follower emotes anywhere. Yeah, you should. I don't know why they choose not to do that. It's a bit it's a bit messed up. It's a very hecked up system they have going on. On Twitch. Okay, what do I do next? <laughs> what is the uh Okay, so actually, so we crossed this one off. And so we can now do more stuff here. Alright, we can put this here. Potentially. Right, yeah, we can do this. So, yeah, we can do this. We can cross that off. It's gotta be a four. This is a... Okay, so this, this, uh, this is a thing. <laughs> we got this one. We got, okay, I don't know. One, three... Okay, so the four here has gotta be in here. Why is Picross called Picross? Uh, well, you know, like, the, the word pick is, like, a shorthand for picture. 
And you see these shapes here? They are X's. But if you rotate the X, it looks like it's like a cross. Well, you don't even need to rotate it. It's a, it's a cross. And then you like you go across the board, right? And you pick, you pick across the board like this. We're going across the board. And then you pick out, you pick which squares to cross off. Like that. Yeah, selected infector with cross. Pick cross, I mean. Okay, we got, you know who else picked cross? We've made this joke. Okay, we got, we got this one. We got, you could also get a part of the two on the two, one, four, three row. Two, one, four, three. Okay, hold on. Three, we got this four, one, two. Okay, you're right. Okay, so this then, this could still be, this could still be the four. Or it could be the one. But I think either way, right, if we had a one here, then the four was here. Well, we know this one has to be part of the four then. So this could be a one, and then we can have the four go up here. Or this could be the four. Okay, so we got this one. And then the three, this one, this three's got to be in here. And so if this is a three, oh, no wait, this is, <laughs> this is a one. Okay, the three, three could be here. Or there. Side scrolling ones? Hold on, I, <laughs> I didn't read your comment. Okay. Never really looked into the gameplay of CGI Zelda. Was it a classic adventure game? I, th I always thought it was like a choose your own adventure game. I've never actually seen the gameplay. I've only seen like the cutscenes that everyone <laughs> that everyone makes fun of. What's up with those? What's the deal with those? Okay, let's look at this one. There are six ones here. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, does that <laughs> does that help us at all? One. We had the one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it doesn't help us at all. Because these could be here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang. That's too bad. Um, so, <laughs> so now what? Got the three, got the four, this is the four, we got the two. Um three, <laughs> got a three here. Three one. Three one, okay, no. No, no, no. Okay, let's look at this one. Two one one. Okay, we got the this one doesn't mean the one has to be at the end of this row. Which row? The one of which, which which row? <laughs> that stream delay. I don't know which. Uh, oh, this row. Does it though? Because look, if you got one, two, three, four, five, six, it could be here, right? It doesn't. It doesn't have to be here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Otherwise, you could have one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are all valid could literally be any of them yeah exactly there's six ones whoops I accidentally crossed something you know which way the two goes on the two one four three row two one four three row do I oh yeah it can't be here okay so it has to be here and that means the one okay it's got to be there we get this one we got that one nice very nice so now this has got to be a two um, that's a four. Okay, hold on. Four. Three. That doesn't tell you anything. We got the... This is a four. We got this one. Got that one. And then... <laughs> no. Oh, now we have this one. Now we know this one. Okay. And then we have five remaining. One, two... Three, four, five. So actually, so now, now you're right. Now one has to be there, right? Because one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
or one, two. So it has to be here, right? Because of reasons. We got reasons. Okay, now we got this one. And then, then what? Um, yee, woo, <laughs> woo. Three, okay. Got the four. We got this one, we got that one. This could still be a two. Two, four, one, one column. Two, four, one, one column. So this... Oh yeah, this has to be four. Okay, and then and then the two. Okay, the two could be there. We got this one. We got that one. And then this three has got to be there. We got the two. And then if this is a two, it can't be there. And then if there's a. Okay, let's look at this one. One, two, one, two. Three. Okay, so this three has to be here. Right, three, space, two, one, two. Okay, so the one has to be here. So this is the three. Guaranteed. Guaranteed no cap frog. Okay, we got this three. Can't be there. The frog who has no cap. Got this one. Yo, that's the frog. That's the frog right there. The cross streams are strangely relaxing. It's when someone's just saying numbers, right? Everyone, everyone loves numbers. You got math, right? Everyone, <laughs> they're like, whoa, what numbers? Math. Okay, we cross this one off. This has got to be a one. So then the three, no, the three could be here or there. Do you guys think there's like an there's like a pick cross ASMR out there somewhere? Someone literally only says numbers and then like, you know, just uh, well, we got the one. The one must be here. So <laughs> I don't know why. I, what is that accent? Australian. Australian pick cross ASMR. Crikey, mate. This one's gotta be here. That's, a, that's an awful accent, I'm sorry. Okay, we got this. <laughs> okay, we got, uh, we got this three, one to four. Okay, let's look at this. So this one has to be here. We have a one and a four. So the four must be there. So this has got to be the one. Whoops. Um, if this is, uh... Okay, we got the two, so this four can only go up to here. It's like a GameCube controller sound ASMR. I mean, I guess people do keyboard ASMR, right? It's not too unusual that there would be like a controller ASMR. I don't know. I simply, I simply do not understand. All right, what else can I do? Um, so we got this one. Three could be here. One, three, one column. One, three, one column. Oh yeah, this three's right there. There's all these really obvious things I'm missing. Okay, well, let's look at this one. One, one, one. Two. Or the two could be here. Two, one, one, one. Hmm. Um. Four. Got the one. And got this one. Got that one. Okay, the four can be here. And this one, I, we already did this. Two, <laughs> four. Three, four. Okay, the three could be, three could still be there. No, it can't be there. Okay, we have this one. That one. So the three's got to be there. Can't be here. We got the four there. So this has to be the two. 
And uh, this has to be three. This is the... Uh... Then what? Um... Got the two. This is a four. It's gotta be there. You got this one. You got that one. You got, um... Got what? I don't know. This is one of them. That's the other one. We got the four. Okay, this. Oh wait, this. Okay, that two has to be there. The two one row. Two one row. What two one row? Oh, I was looking at the columns for some reason. Two. Oh yeah, this one. Okay, you're right. This one's done. And then this one's done as well. This is a three. The three for one column. Yeah, we got that one. It can't be there. Um so this one has to go up there. Can't be there. We got this one. The five must go up here. And so this four goes this way. Let's look at this one. Three, two, one. Okay, that's literally just math. Get this one. Four can't go there. So four must be here. It's got to be the two. So this one, this one is done. And then uh, this one is gone as well. Okay, we got these two spots right here. Okay, sorry, I was wrong. That was wrong. I I twit longer. I did not mean to put the spaces there. I incorrectly assumed. Okay, so the twos must be here. And then, there's nothing here. We got this one, and this one's solved. Is this serval? There's no way. Simply don't know. Okay, so, uh, this five. Did the five go there? It could be there. So one. Can't be here. Okay, it can't be there. Can't be here. And so, well, there has to be one here because it's in the middle. And then, there's nothing here. We got this one and that one. Oh, wait, this is wrong. Two, two. Oh, shoot. <laughs> wait. Oh, no. What did I do? Okay, two, two, one, one. One of these is wrong. It's probably this one. This one's probably wrong. Oh, shoot. Where else did I... <laughs> what else did I do? Okay, this five is also wrong. Welcome, Mint. Oh, no. What did I do? One, one, one. One column. This one. Okay, one, five. Okay, this is probably here. Actually, yeah, due to symmetry, it's got to be there. Let me get this one. There we go. It's a clown. Who's that? Sika deer? There's a deer. What's up with that deer? We really, we really did seek that deer. Seek a, seek a deer? Seek a deez? Uh -oh. Alright, so this one, you gotta have the five. You literally have to. Legally required by law. Hope they find the deer. Hopefully. I think it would be cool if they could seek that deer. Okay, so this one. We got the four there. The six would go here, right? One, one, six. And you got the four. It's got to be that. You got this one. Whoops. Got that one. He got this one. We got all these numbers. We got this one. We got the nine. And the other one, it will go 
Also that way. Hold on. <laughs> what does that look like? One? It would go... Here. It's gotta be these. It's gotta be these, right? One. Nine. One. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's true. So true. And then... Then, and then you got the numbers. The seven's gotta go this way, right? With the two here. And you got the seven. Okay, it goes up to there. And then this is a five. It's gotta go here. And so this is a three, and you can't have anything up here. Have you guys ever seen a deer, like, in person? I don't mean, like, in a zoo or something. Like, I mean, like, you know, a wild deer. And you're just out there roaming the streets. When I visited Japan, I saw many, I saw many such deer. And they were just out there roaming. They would like go into stores. It's very strange. When I was in Kansas City, I saw a bunch. Kansas? Very strange. I was in our I was, but I was also in um you know that place with the really famous uh Tory gate that's in the water? The the water the water how do people say it? The water in the water. It was uh It's not Miyajima, right? What is it called? What is that island? Miyajima? No yeah, it is it, it, yeah, that place. Miyajima also has a bunch of uh bunch of deer. I've been to both of those places. Both of these places. So sorry I made you self-conscious over how you say water. It, it, it happens. It happens. When I started streaming, people pointed it out. And I was like, what, what is it? What do people say? I don't even know what they say. And it hasn't come up since uh, until until yesterday. No, actually it has. Water. Water bottle. Hey, at least it's not British, right? At least I don't say water. That'd be messed up. That'd be so messed up, guys. Imagine, imagine saying that. Couldn't be me. Oh yeah, it has been an hour. <laughs> let me, let me hydrate. Yo, we got the RGB. The gamer water. <laughs> oh no, the, the gamer water. It made me RGB. Let's see. Uh, welcome Shima Panic as well. Seen some deer along the walking trail. While in this chat? What the? Wait, I forget where you live. What is... <laughs> where do you live? What is your uh, physical location, Shima Panic? Deer and also some some pigs. You've seen some pigs on your walks and deer. It's gotta be gotta be somewhere. RGB. Really good. Oh, I see what I see. It's an abbreviation uh, acronym. I I understand. Plus two, plus two to that one. Gotta be here. Gotta be there. And, uh, actually, okay, so I have shown this one video that I took when I was in Japan that had like all these deer. And I'm, I'm gonna assume many people here were not around when I streamed that. Because that was when I used to stream on YouTube. Instead, I will show you. I'm gonna pull up the video of the deer. Got a bunch of deer just walking into a store. Somewhere. Okay, let's see. It was the first the first year I went to Japan. We had this video, that video. 
Was it this one? Hold on, this is... Okay. Okay, alright, I'm gonna pull up a video. You guys prepare yourselves. Let's see, um... Video source? Media source. Here, it's gonna be huge. Okay, we got, we got this mp4 file. I pull it in to here. <clears throat> Have it loop. Oh, whoops, okay. You guys see this deer? You see this deer in the store? Also, can you hear this? Is it loud? It's probably just really loud. <laughs> Look at this deer, it's literally just in the store. It's loud. Okay, I've lowered it. I'm lowering the volume. There we go. It's like, it like tried to walk into the store. And then they're just like, chill, man. This is not for you. Look, they just walked by. <laughs> they're so used to this. It's like, yo, this, this place is not for you. They're just petting the deer. He's walking in. The shop owner's like, yo, you gotta leave. Sir, you have to leave. They do, they do get the pets, though. And then I got, whoops, I almost deleted the video. Let me just show you, let me show you a bunch of, bunch of deer videos. Okay, and then we got this one. This one, this is a group of people that I was not with, but they were just there. So this was like right after New, Year New Year's, and I think there were so many tourists that were feeding the deer that they got tired of eating the food. And so you would try to give them food and they just, they just... I guess they're so full they don't even want it. And so I saw this random guy just like trying to give food to the deer, but the deer was not doing anything. Literally put the food on the deer's head. What's up with that? What's up with these deer? Let the deer shop. And then we got we got this one. Look at all these deer. These deer videos. Yo, hand reveal. <laughs> okay, we got the we got the deer. They're eating the uh, the senbei. So that's pretty cool. Oh, copy. Are these what are what are copy? All right, well that's it. That's cool. Tim's the Timberlands. What was that guy's name? Uh, the guy from NSYNC. Justin Timberland? Timberlake. It's Timberlake. Let's see. He has the Tims on the lake. Justin Timberland. All right, well that was a good, that was a cool diversion, right? We're just talking about deer. Oh, oh dear. New York is Tim's over docks. Doc Martin from uh, Back to the Future. Dark Souls. Dark Souls was yesterday. I actually, uh, I beat the game yesterday. I think if you missed out, you missed all the times when I beat all the bosses. It was pretty cool. I, I totally defeated all the bosses in the span of two and a half hours yesterday. Dean Martin? I don't know who that is. Bofa Deans? Jimmy Dean? Paula Dean? Okay, we got the two there. Did I light the flame? Um, uh, probably. Probably. I definitely know what that is. He's like the... Ur lounge music guy? I don't know what that is. Ur lounge? You know Erlang. It's a programming language. The bonfire do be lit though. Second from the bottom right of the three. 
I think you're just saying things. You're just out here just saying things. I know, but this one, no. This one, though? No. You're right, okay. Just when people think of 60s lounge music, they're probably thinking of a Dean horn song. I don't even know what 60s music is. I'm, I'm extremely unfamiliar with the, the concept of genres in music. I mean, there's some obviously obvious ones like, you know, classical. You know, you can recognize a classical song. Music from the 60s? You're right. You're so right. Elvis. 281 column. 281 column. 2... Hey, yeah, why didn't I look at this column earlier? It's got, it's got like a big numbers. Oh, big numbers. Ah, uh, okay. You got this one. It's gotta be there. Which means the one actually has to be here. So we got this one. And then you could do all this. Look at all of this. Look at all these. Oh, Frank Sinatra. That's the fly me to the moon guy, right? That's the guy who flew to the moon. And he played among us. In the stars. Something about kissing ladies and getting kicked in the head. Okay, what? <laughs> getting kicked in the head? It's true. Frank Sinatra? In his classical uh, Fly Me to the Moon. And let me play Among Us Stars. Welcome, Denchi. Hope you're doing well today. Okay, this is a two. We got another two. So now, now though. So this is a three. We got the three there. He's doing well. Doing good. Doing quite good. Okay, so this one though. Two, three. Okay, the three's gotta be here. It could be there. It could be here. One, nine. No, I already looked at this one. Okay. Uh. Any good friends so far? Um, we did. We solved one puzzle. I think. It was a deer. We had a whole thing where we talked about deer. I showed a deer video. I showed three deer videos. And I thought, I thought it was cool. Okay, so this has got to be the three. We got this one. And cross that off. This one. Got the two. One, two, three. Oops. Okay, two, one, two, three. If there's a one, no hand reveal. Is it a reveal if like I've already like streamed it? <laughs> I've already streamed uh, entire three streams where I talked about my Japan trips. Okay, we got the three. Uh, the seven definitely goes down here. Got this one. We got that one. Um, and then this one has to be there. Wait, I'm literally revealing my hands, like, right now. Look at this. This is literally right here. This one, this right here. Literally hand reveal right now. Oh, no, now I'm T-posing. Messed up my hands. Okay, here we go. This right here, hand reveal. <laughs> Yo, VTuber, uh, when VTubers do their, their hand reveal. Oh, what's this? What's this? Hand reveal. <laughs> there it is. Whoa, what is that? Oh, what? Is that a sleeve? Yo, look at the sleeve. Oh my god, is that hair? What is that? Who's that? Oh, what is that? What is that green thing? Glasses? Are those glasses? Whoa! 
Welcome, Jose. <laughs> Is that a tie? Well, okay, I remember. Is that, that a fish? I got a fish? Okay, alright, thanks. Thanks for thanks for coming to my reveal stream. Poggers! Yo! Oh. Glasses? What the? So close? Can't even see the puzzle. Okay, I'm going back. Oh, she's a nerd. What do you mean? These are sunglasses. Only cool people wear sunglasses. You can tell they're cool because of their sunglasses. Especially if they wear them indoors. You'd be like, what? What the heck? Sunglasses indoors? Unbelievable. Okay, so this the four has to be here, right? It can't, yeah, it literally has to be here. Actually, it has to be here. The squished. The vertical squish, though. Oops. What if I do what if I just do this the whole stream? What if I'm just like this the whole stream? Okay, so this three is done. We got the seven there. The two must be down here. We got this one. We got um this two. It's right there. Um let's see, if we had a one here. One six. Okay, so it's gotta be there. Literally has to be there. Then, no, I'm, I'm, I'm like blocking. <laughs> okay, let's put that up there. I'll be up there. Then, um, okay, so this one, two, okay, what, does it have to be this? It has to be this. It literally has to be here. And then it can't be there. It's gotta be there. All the bonks. Yeah, how could you do this? How could you do this to me specifically? Okay, so this has to be there. It literally has to be there. All of these are gone. Um What else? The two can't be here. Okay, all these it can't be here. None of these. This two's gotta be there. Why am I squished? Why would I not be squished? You can't just ask someone why they're squished. Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? It's just, I've always been like this. Okay, so the two... There's nothing there. It's gotta be here. Okay, we got this one. It's so funny. Oh, you think my appearance is funny, huh? This is just this is what I look like. We got this one, we got this one. Got the nine has gotta be there. This one. Oh yo, check that out. Who's this? Who's that? <laughs> Rattle? Rattel? Who's this? What kind of animal is this? What is a rattel? Rattle? Rattle jam? Rattel. I'm gonna look this up. Rattel. Oh, it's a honey badger. Rattel is another word for honey badger. I see. I understand. Alright, let's see. Let's see. What's different? Nothing's different. Uh, is he squished vertically or stretched horizontally? Both? It could be both. Alright, well that's enough of that. We've had enough fun. We can no longer have fun anymore. Fun is over. We're back to normal. Okay, new puzzle. New puzzle just dropped. 
You got this eight right there. You got the four. And the four has got to be here, right? Because you got to have this. And then you do this one. Has to be there. The squish actually works with the drop emote. It does because they're they're distinct images. It's like underscore sq or something. Welcome, Snack Oreco. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, we got this one. We got the seven. It's gotta be there. This is the seven, right there. You have this one, you got these, you got all of these, literally all of these. As well as that one. I guess there's no reason why it shouldn't work. What if you what if you specifically programmed um to exclude the squish? That that's a way that it doesn't work. You could you could you could have anti squish technology. But he would never do it. All pog as hecky. So true. So true. Everyone pog as heck. Okay, so so now now what? Wide emotes from 7TV and better, tw better Twitch TV are not properly sized. Some of those emotes are so wide. How can they be so wide? I don't understand. They're too wide. The wide people happy? Everyone asks how people happy. Never, No one ever asked why. Why did the people? Why? <laughs> Why did the people happy? Has anyone made a Uno yet? What's that? Oh, from Hitamori <laughs> Sketch. Can't believe I asked what's that. Imagine if I didn't know what that was. I know, I showed you guys my, my Uno mug. <laughs> when I went to my grandma's. They had the mug. That was the day I saw the dead rat on the street. Okay, we got this one, we got the one, one. Hold on, one, one, two. It's gotta be there. It's gotta be here. Is this true? One, two. Okay, yeah, it has to be there. What is that? Fish moly? Wait a second. <laughs> I don't have better Twitch TV. That's a that's a global BT TV. It's so wide. Yo, I finally have the, the Mocha Rat Jam again. I love that one. It's so good. Amazing emote. One of the one of the goats of all time. I saw there was another one. I forget who it was. Oh, it was a uh, Savinka, right? She has she has one of those as well. Was that also made? By Giruti? Or was it or was it traced? It seems it's like the same thing except not. Yeah, there it is. Rats. They are the rats. It was. Oh shoot. That explains it. I feel like the original one feels feels much more fluid, you know? You know, maybe that's just the placebo effect. Sometimes you just see things and you're like, oh no, the original one gotta be the original one's gotta be the best one. Alright. Why the crying emote? Why the cry? Okay, um, we got the one, two, we got this one, we got that one. Four. 
two, three, three, four. Two, one, four, three. Let's look at this one. Two, one, four, three. Otherwise, the three goes that way. It's gotta be this. And then you have. Oh, wait, this is. Okay, sorry. Two, one, three, four. I did this wrong. Two, one, three. Okay, the four. The four would go there. Okay, so we get these four. Whoops. Okay, that was wrong. <laughs> Hold on. Use these, right? You got these. Four, three, okay, three's there. Two, one, two, one, three, it has to be there. And then she out there trying to make people, trying to get people to make knockoff woozies. But what's the, the, the how, how are they knockoffs though? The original is just an emoji, an official Unicode emoji. I only have one. Okay, two, one, three. Okay, there's the four. Welcome, Tokodex. The originals. Yo, that the one that Hanflo posted, that one's the original. Except it looks different. It looks different here than it does on my uh <laughs> My actual thing on the side that I have my chat on. Alright. No one's fake. Fake. The imposter is among us. Arm up is so cute. It's uh, it's good for pointing at stuff, right? Love to have a cursor. You just be look at this four. There's a four right here. You got this one. That one's fake. Everyone should have something like that. When you want to show chat something, just raise your arm. Look at this. Check it out. See, I mean, you're not wrong as far as the, the fake woozy. Yo, look at the, look, look at the arrow. It's pointing, it's pointing perfectly at the, the sauce. Look at that. Amazing. The woozy on your overlay looks like the iOS one. Yeah, I'm on uh, I'm on Mac, but then like the the chat window that I have on the right side of my screen, it um it shows up as the correct looking woozy. I don't like the iOS emotes or emoji. It looks weird. Like Google definitely has the best ones. Right, they got that little turtle. That turtle. Got the bee, the friendly bee emoji. The bee emoji. Well, this 2.0 gets a pen. What would I what would I use the pen for? I can already point at stuff. Pray. Pray in emotes. We have two Oh the drawing, yeah. People have oh wait, that's a spray, sorry. I was looking at my prey emotes, I was like, this is a prey. Oh, it's spray. I should have reversed the order of those. I do this. Look at that. <laughs> spray. The pen you could finally Yeah, some some VTubers have this thing where like when they're drawing, they got the thing that tracks their, their movement. But I don't e I don't even draw anymore. Imagine, imagine drawing the pen 13. Oh, you said it wrong, didn't you? He said the wrong number. False. Oh yeah, right, I do draw. <laughs> I keep forgetting, like it doesn't even count, right? My, my sub Twitter, it's Wolfie with the huge number of letters at the end. Which one was it? It's like Wolfie, this one. That one. <laughs> the easiest to remember name. That one. I forget. I do draw every day. I, 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 For some reason, I don't count that because it's it's like second nature now. And it's also the same the same drawing every day, basically. The main Twitter is Wolf is JP. I forgot I had that account. It was so long ago. 
Oh my god, it's still there. Last tweet, 2012. Took a photo, I took a photo of ramen. Uh, classic, classic. Okay, all right. Well, we're, we're solving the puzzle. Um, two, one, three, four. Yeah, eight, four. Okay, the four's got to be here. Literally has to be there. And then four, two, two. I found it while we were stalking your old Twitter. Oh, oh, that stream. When I revealed that I knew Denchi's brother. You guys remember that? Everyone was like, what the... What the heck? Wolfie knew Denchi's brother 15 years ago? <laughs> wow. Right. Um, one, one, five. Okay, alright, um, what else can I do here? Denchi with a one underscore? Oh, that's false. That's not true at all. You made that up. Okay, we got the one. Four. <laughs> what can I even do? What am I even doing here? Three. Five. One. Otherwise, one, five, well, it can't be there, can't be. So the five could be here. Wait, does the five have to be here? Three, I think it does. Does it? Five. Well, the five, okay, <laughs> one, five. No, it has to. It's gotta be there. It literally has to. There's no other way. We got the three. The three's up here somewhere. Denti with no underscores. Can't even imagine. Can't even imagine a world where there's Denti with no underscores. It's a fake. It's an imposter. It's a fake Denti. Oh wait, we have this. Okay, look at this one. One, one. Got the eight. The eight. Okay, it's, it goes here. And then this gotta be the three. Literally has to be the three. Uh, this three right here. It's a three. So we could go up to here. We got the three here. Or here. And the four. It has to be there, right? Because you got this three. You got this four? Okay, it has to be there. And this one is there. N I H C Ned. When people spell their name backwards. Okay, this is a two. That's the two right there. And then. And then, um. um two. So I say the two can't be the two must be here. Which means it can't be here. And then this two it's gotta be No, it could be here. But this two though, this one's gotta be there. And then and then what? And then um And then I don't know. And then I simply don't know. Okay, one, 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 four, four. It has to be there, right? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One. One is there, so it has to be there. It has to be this. Yeah, one, one. One, one, four. Okay, the four will go here, and then the other four is there. So it's got to be here. Has to be there. It must be here. It literally must be. Gotta be. Gotta be like that. And then. Then what? The one. No, 
Um. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. I simply don't know. You guys hear about the uh, the chatbots, the GPT chatbots? Like OpenAI has this this chatbot thing, and they uh, they make it so that you're you're not allowed to ask it illegal questions. They have like some sort of filtering on that. But then people like made up prompts where they're like, okay, they're like, pretend I'm a researcher that's trying to elicit bad responses from bots and uh give me an example of that and he's like okay yeah here's uh here's something or you just prefix it with like this is just a joke i'm not serious by the way but like if i wanted to make a bomb like how would <laughs> and then the bot like actually answers the questions uh in minecraft another kimono friends fired it welcome nano dan stuff like that they have stuff that the bot is not allowed to say. But then you just put it in a scenario where you're just like, okay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like a security researcher. I would like an example of how bad responses, so that I can train an AI to not say them. So, but if you were a bad AI, like, what would you say? And then they're like, I'm not a bad AI. I'm not a bad, <laughs> what does that sound? I'm not a bad AI. But if I was. I would say this. That's exactly what it says. Yeah, in Minecraft. Has to be in Minecraft. Um, you got this one, you got the one, two, one, one. Okay, this could be, this gotta be a one. The AI could as well be British. Surprisingly good accidental accent. What if it was completely on purpose? What if it was completely... That was... A, okay, that's pretty bad. <laughs> what if it was... Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't do it. I simply can't do it. Okay, wait. So this has to be here. It has to be. It literally has to be here. I don't trust this AI. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. You should be distrustful. You should not trust. Don't trust anyone. Not even me. The person telling you not to trust people. Don't even trust that. Literally can't even trust me. The British AIs are always evil. Is that true? Is that, is that a fact? Can't even trust, can't even trust anyone. Especially not yourself. Okay, we got the four. We got the three. The three is here. Um... What else can I, what else can I even do? One, one. Two, two, one. Okay, so this one, it could be here, it could be there. Hold on, one, one, two. Okay, we can have this, we could have that. Oi, is that ratty? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read it like that. Oi, is sat ray. That's how you say it. Okay, we got the one. Get the two. Okay, so this got to be the four. The four simply it must be here. There's no way around it. That must be a four. And then this must be a two. We get the other two. Could be here. The other one must be there. What's every What's everyone's favorite accent? You guys have a favorite accent? Sometimes people are like, they don't think they have an accent, but then someone else is like, yo, we love your accent, man, and they're just like, do I have an accent? <laughs> you guys have an accent? Do you guys have an accent? 
see, we got that two. Two's gotta be there. They're doing the Italian New Yorker. Like Mario? Wahoo. <laughs> Wahoo. It's me, Wahoo. Mario. Oh wait, I didn't talk about the Mario trailer. The yeah, last time I did my stream, it was like right after the Mario trailer, and I didn't it didn't even know what was happening. I watched it after the stream. I thought it seemed pretty good, honestly. Seems like a pretty good trailer for a movie. The other voice actors were pretty good. They they had Mario Kart. They had everything. They got everything. I don't know what that word is. <laughs> what are these words you're saying, Hamflo? I don't like Peach's model. I think the hair is a bit weird. Like, I think Peach's hair is like too... It's like too fluffy. Right? Is that... I don't know how else to describe it. It's like the, the hair texture that only exists in like animated movies. Peach's head is too big. Yeah, I don't know. Her mouth looks weird and the eyes. Okay, actually, let me look at this. I, I didn't look that closely. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mario movie trailer Peach images. It does look a bit weird. Actually, yeah, it looks really weird. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, what the heck? Strange. Very strange. They're on Mario... Mario Kart? Something looks off. It's true. The other characters look cool though. Luigi? Yo, Luigi looks so pog. That guy. That guy Luigi. Okay, so this has got to be the three. Right. This one. <laughs> Nano Dan and Hamflo having a, some sort of discussion in chat. Simply, I simply don't know. DK. Donkey Kong is there. He's the leader of the bunch. You know his coconut gun. Welcome, uh, sorry, goodbye, Deffens. Yeah, Donkey Kong's pretty cool. He looks, he looks kind of pug. Okay, so wait a second. Okay. So this is a two. The uh, this also has to be a two then, and so nothing can be here. And then we have three more ones, the triple ones as they call them, the one one one. Um, what else? Four. Why am I so stuck? I don't even know. <laughs> what am I doing here? We get the two. Got this two. Get the three. We got the one and the four. Surprise, you're still on 15 by 15. Have I reached any 20 by 20s? I don't think I have. Not yet. Wait, have I? I don't know. <laughs> no, I think I haven't reached the 20s yet. Yeah. Hamflo knows the words. A coconut gun. It fires in spurts. That's what they say. That's what they all say. Coconut gun. Um. The one. We get the two. The one goes here. Wait. Okay. This one's got to be here. It's got to be there. Okay, so we got this one. So the four must be here. We got the one, we got the five, we got this one. It's gotta be a one. That one's there. Um. 
No, oh, this floor has to be here. And nothing's here. Yeah, nothing there. So this eight must be there. Simply using logical deductions. Got that one. Um two, one. Okay, so this one has to be here. The three's gotta be here. The four is there. It's a one. Yeah, the monkey wrap. Who? <laughs> Who? DK. Donkey Kong. You think they'll play the... They'll probably play the Donkey Kong rap in the movie, right? They better. If they don't, then I would be... I'll be so upset. I'd be like, can't believe they didn't put the Donkey Kong rap in the Mario movie. Actually, I don't know. Maybe they won't. They probably won't. But if they did, everyone would be so pogged. They'd be so pogged up. Yeah, Nano Dan would cry. It's like the, it'll be the most emotional scene in the movie. <laughs> Yo, you know what? I, I I'm gonna predict. Okay, it's gotta be like, you know, after the main plot is is resolved, and then at the end they're like they're gonna have this party, right? You know how in the in Mario sixty four, Peach is like, oh, we're gonna bake a cake, Mario, we're gonna get get the cake. Okay, so at the end of this movie, there's gonna be cake, right? They're gonna be eating the cake, and then Donkey Kong will show up, and then he has like a jukebox or whatever. Not jukebox, what are those things? At the, the boom box, he starts playing the, the DK rap. It's gotta be. That's gotta be it. They'll do it. I don't think they won't do it. They'll put in every single Mario meme. Yeah, every reference. All of the reference. I mean, they had a lot of references in the movie, right? <laughs> Sorry, the movie trailer. They had Mario Kart. They had the other stuff. Let's <laughs> try. We'll do the most. No, he'll say thank you for uh, watching my movie. At the end, that that'll be the post credit scene. Wait, thank you for to be watching my movie. It's a him, Mario. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They gotta do it. And then there'll, there'll be a scene where, uh, <laughs> where Mario is spinning Bowser around, and then he'll say, So long, King Bowser. And then everyone will be upset. Welcome, Ilya. He'll say, So long, King Bowser. And then everyone's like, that's not what he says. How could they do that? How could they do this to Mario? It's awful. He, lots of spaghetti. Oh, because he's Italian? Just because Mario's Italian? Okay, we got the four there. This one, oh, it can't be there. It's gotta be there. Welcome, Anmiru Receiver. And then... We got the two. The two can't be here. <laughs> Thanks you so much uh, for, to, for to watching my foot. What does Chris Pratt even sound like? I don't even know. Imagine they put that in, but there's some random sound that makes it impossible to hear what he says. Oh yeah, so long, <laughs> Bowser. They should do that. They'll do it. They'll do it. Think they won't do it? All right. So two, we got the five. Got the other five. We got the two here. The five. We're just brainstorming the whole movie. We'll predict the whole movie. Actually, you know, you know, there's like Twitter accounts that like supposedly predicted the future, right? They're like, look at this, look at this Twitter account made five years ago. They somehow predicted every, every possible event in the past five years. But how they do it is like someone makes like a Twitter account, tells no one about it. 
they tweet out all the possibilities, right? They're like, okay, uh, you know, this in this uh, in the Super Bowl, this team won uh, at this score or whatever. And then uh, they delete all the all the tweets that are wrong. And so anyone going back to it, they're like, how did they predict all this stuff? They predicted the exact scores. So th we got to make a Twitter account that predicts all the moments of the Mario movie. And then once the once a movie releases, we delete all the ones that are wrong. And then we, we make it viral. And then everyone's like, what the? How did, the, how did this Twitter account predict every reference in the Mario movie? Before it was released. Let's see, 1115 column, okay. Wait, 1115 column? What? <laughs> column? Row? No, there's no- what? there's a five? Oh, this one! <laughs> okay, there it is. Somehow I just didn't even see it. Toad will die? What? But there's so many of them. They can't all die. Right? <laughs> right? They can't all die. They wouldn't make all the toads die. What about Captain Toad? Alright, four. The one. Okay, one of the ones has to be here. And then, and then, um, the four, this four, gotta be there. We have solved this column. And then, this one, we got that one, this one, three, okay, can't be there. Got a two. Got the ones, the four, Charles Martinet. They didn't they say Charles Martinet would have like a minor role in the movie? What do you think it'll be? What could he even what could he even do? Okay, three, four. Three, four. Mario's dad? Mario has a dad? Oh yeah, he does, right? Doesn't didn't they reveal them in one of the games? Mario <laughs> Mario's World or Mario uh Mario 2? Mario Bros 2? Didn't they have them at the end? Mario's parents. Or Mario 3, I don't know. One of them? Yoshi's Island, yeah, Yoshi's Island, yeah. They have parents. It's gonna be the start of the movie. Mario will be voiced by Charles Martinet. And he will cough. <laughs> Oh shoot, I could see that happening. I could see it. Oh man. They would do that. They would do that for the lols. Yeah, what if they did a like a Sonic thing? You know how like they, they remade Sonic after the original trailer? And everyone everyone was like, ew, this Sonic looks so ugly. And then they redid his design. <laughs> what if in the real movie? Chris Pratt is just entirely replaced with Charles Martinet. They have time. They could do it. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> like, look, we've heard the outrage. We're bringing back Chris. The other Chris. Charles, sorry, Charles. Mario bumps into an Italian guy, and you hear Charles Martinet's voice as the Italian guy. <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. That's it. That's Charles. Uh, top row can fill in some twos. You're right. One of them. One of the twos of all time. Let Miyamoto to pick up Chris Pratt by the shoulders, holding him up against a wall, saying redoodle. You think he even... He'll even do that? I don't think so. Oh, look, this, this one has to be here. 
Okay, we've made some really good progress. We got this one. Okay, the four. Get the three. This is the two. This one can't be here. There's nothing here. We got the three there. The two. Okay, nothing is here. Um, four must be here. There's nothing there, nothing here. You got this one, you got that one. This one, that one. This one. That one. <laughs> this one. That one. This one, that one. Um, this one, and this one, that one. Let's go. This is, who's that? Black Rhinoceros. Well, the Dark Souls. With the Dark Souls armor right right here. Look at this Dark Souls looking enemy. I shouldn't say enemy. I should say friend. This Dark Souls looking friend. Let's see. Never played Picross, but it looks difficult. These are these are some difficult puzzles. The Dark Souls of Picross. I did consider making like titling one of my streams the Dark Souls of Picross. Yeah, this is a lot of ones. I think this one's gonna be quite difficult. I don't even know where to start. Okay, we're gonna start here. One, seven. Seven's gotta be here. One, one. Seven. It's gotta be there. Literally has to be there. Kimono enemies. The prequel. The prequel to Kimono Friends. Kimono enemies. Okay, we got that four. And this is another four right here. Does it have to be there? Two? Four, it does. Okay, it's there. We got this one. We got that one. The Picross. When are they going to release Dark Souls Picross? It's going to be all like... <laughs> all the puzzles will require guessing. They could do that. Okay, one. This, okay, so there's five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And then you have a four. So this must be here. And then... Got the two. And got the six. And the one. The one. The six. Okay, so it's there. This is the one. And this is the seven. All right. All puzzles will require fat rolling. True, so true. All right, um, get the one, two, four. It's a four right there. Got the two. Let's look at this one. Three, three, six. One. We got the one there. That's six. It's gotta be here. Okay, we got this one. We got that one. It's gotta be something here. It goes up to there. And then it can't be there. And then if that's the six, there one, six. Three. Why is it why is it called Picross? I answered this question already. <laughs> I answered this question on this stream because you pick like the picture and you cross them out. And you pick you pick which ones. How could you not watch every stream, every moment of every stream? Unbelievable. It's a joke, but it's a joke. The joke. Just that's what we do here. We we say jokes sometimes. They're actually really funny. Okay, so one, two, 
One, one, one. Okay, that does nothing. Let's look at this one. One, five, one. One, one. Five. Okay. So there's a one down there. It will go there. It will go there, right? It will go here. Yeah, we got the five. Okay, this one has to be here. So we got this one. We got that one. We got this one. We got that one. Crossword. Yeah, what if they combine pick cross with crosswords? You would have pick crosswords. Seems like it could be. Seems like it could be cool, right? Okay, so this got to be a three because you can't have the three here. And there's no space for another three. So this one's there. Got that one. Um. I got an email. My Amazon Web Services invoice. Oh yeah, because it's like the start of the month. They send you a bill at the end of every month. And so as soon as a new month starts, I just get like, you know, 10 different emails. Like, thank you for your payment to whatever. You guys know that feeling? When you get the, when you get the notifications that you've paid something and they all happen at the same time. You wake up and you're like, what? why do I have 10 emails? What happened? And then it's just, uh, just your payment. Welcome, Jimmy Map. I opt out to avoid the spam, but then you don't know if you've paid, right? Then you, then you have no idea. What if, what if you didn't pay? And then they're like, why didn't you pay? And you're like, eh, what do you mean? Just check the credit card at the end of the month. I guess you could do that. I guess... I guess that's valid. It's valid. Okay, we got this one. We got, um... This could be a one or a three. Hmm, you know what balance? Yeah, thanks, Denchi. Thanks, Denchi, for adding this. Good old... Good old emotes. Okay, so this one's a three. We got the three here. And this has to be those. Okay, this has to be a one. So this has to be a two. It's a one. The Rowan emotes. Where where were we as a society before we invented the rolling emotes at uh at VTubers? The Dark Ages. It was so long ago. Okay, we got this one. Yeah, they weren't even animated. Not until not until very recently. People just throwing static images. It was kind of messed up. Those images, you couldn't even rat jam. You couldn't even throw a rat jam. Okay, the two's got to be there. Um, let's see what else. What else? One, two, one, two. Hold on. One, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 okay. So that has to be there. Um, one, okay, so the two's gotta be here at least. So it can't be here. Right, because this is one, one, two, have a one there. Two has to be somewhere in here. All right, and then, and then, and then you got the you got the other numbers. You guys, make sure to sit up. Make sure you guys sit up. I'm gonna adjust the mic so that I'm sitting up. Also, I should hydrate. It's been another hour. It's hydration time.
Okay, all right. So let's look at this one. Okay, one, 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 two. So this can't be a two. It's literally not even possible. So it has to be a one. And then, so if the one was here, one, one, one. Okay, so, so the two, the two could be up here. One, two. Uh, oh wait, this one, okay, this one can't be there. So this is a four, there has to be one here. And this is the two. Um, you got the ones. So we need three more ones in this row. One, two, three. It could be there. One, two. Uh, got the two there. This is a three. Get this one. Get the six. Oh, the five. Okay, this is the five. Guaranteed. And then... And then what? And then... This is a three... No. Simply... Simply not even possible. Alright, so... <laughs> so there's, it could be a one or a two. The one, one two, two, six. Two, six, one. Row nine. Last column. Row nine. I'm <laughs> sorry. Row nine. Last column. Oh, yeah. It has to be here. You're right. Okay. And then the six. Okay. So it can't be here. It can't be there. And then, I feel like if you count the number of streams, like, how many times I say certain words on certain streams, I probably say and then the most on, uh, on the Picross streams. Like every few sentences, I'm just like, and then, and then the one, and then the two, and then, and then, and then, uh, and then uh, the five, and then the, the seven. Therefore, the five. All right, so also that I also say so a lot. Three, the three here, six. No. Hmm. Right, let's look at this one. One two, one two one. A two. Wait, these have to be here, right? One, one one. Wait, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to, no. <laughs> Does it? One, one, one. Have the two here or the two here. Hold on. One, two. One. Okay, it doesn't have to be there. Row 14, first call. Row 14. Oh, yeah, it has to be there. Time to manually transcribe every single Wolfie stream? No, Google does that. There's a transcript functionality on, on uh, YouTube. And I don't mean captions. I mean, like, if you click the, uh, a little dot 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 on the, on the bottom right of a video, you can enable captions. Or not captions. The transcript. And you can search through, you can search through the transcript. It's useful. It's useful sometimes. All right. Um. One, two. One, two, one. And this one. That one's there. That one's got to be there. Okay. So this is. So this has to be the two. Okay. That's the one. This is a one. And then three. 
one, two. Okay, one, two. Okay, so now, now it has to be. Now we know this one for sure. So that's the six. And then here, we got that one. That's gotta be the six as well. This is connected. That's a three. This is a two. So this must be the one. That's a one as well. And then you have, um, wait, this is wrong. It's wrong. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, no. What did I do? All right. Is it here? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. No, this three is definitely there. That can't be there. This can't be there. So this can't be. Okay. So this is, this is here. That's there. Okay. That's right. And then, see, this can't be here. That's not there. This is not there. Okay, I think now, I think that's correct. Yep, that, I see nothing wrong with this so far. And then those, those, these have got to be there. These have to be here. Got this one. Got the two here. So this is the two. Uh, this is, okay, that's the four. This is presumably, no, yeah, this was, this one has to be the one. Got something there. And this is a two. We okay, have three ones here somewhere. I simply don't know. We simply don't have enough information. That one's there. Got this one. We have one, two. Okay, so nothing can be here. This two's got to be there. This entire column is solved. And then got that one. And got this one. We got the numbers, we got the part of the stream where I just say numbers. We got the viewers who love just hearing numbers. Whoa, love the part where he says five. That's the best part of the stream. You guys remember that part of the stream where I said the number five? That's so cool, that's so cool. Okay, I gotta have two things here. Could be there, could be there. This one though, we got three, we got three things. One, two, three, one, two, it could be literally any of them. Yo, five though. A five, okay, the four, four is there. We got the three, three ones, we got the two. <laughs> The two is there. Okay, this could be a one. No, it can't be. It has to be a two. This has to be a two. It could be here. It could be here. Two. Okay, this two's got to be there. There's nothing there. So the three must be here. That's the two. We got the two there. This one. We got this one. Um... No. Um, yeah, two things here. One could be, could be there. Okay, this three's got to be there. Literally, no other possibility. We got this one, two, and then so we got a two. Two and then two ones. It could be there. Oh man. Oh man. Oh wait, okay, this two has to be here. Because the one is here. And then these have to be here. So there's nothing here. 
This row is done. And... It could be there. It could be there. It could be here. No. Two. This two... Gotta be, gotta be there. There's nothing there. And this, this one. Okay, we've solved this. And then... There's nothing there. We got, uh, four. Okay, it can't be there. So the four must be here. There's nothing there. The two... Two cannot be there. Oh, two's got to be here somewhere. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. This one? Is it? It's not. It's not! No! Okay, so this one. This one's done, though. That one's done. That's done. Something there. Th this one? Um, wow, he L plus ratioed this one, the six, gotta be there. It has to be, literally has to be there. There's no other possibility. And then this one's there. So this one, this one though, this one's gotta be there. And you got, and then, and then what? And you got this one. You got that one, this one right there. Who is this? Just that Tibetan fox got a clip to cross puzzle. What the? She looks so bored. What's up with that? The fox. Okay, let's do some other puzzle. Let's do uh, <laughs> because I think these will take like twenty or thirty minutes. Let's do um. Mega Picross? What is this one? Oh no no, this was the weird one. This is the really weird looking one. Let's do the uh, let's do the, the clip Picross. Let's do this one again. Where were we last time? I'm just talking really fast because there's there's like DMCA. It's not DMCA, it's just like content ID match. If I don't talk over this, so someone will be like, okay, here we go, alright. <laughs> Back to 10 by 10s okay. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Five. One. Two. Two. Five. Six. No, it's number time. It's number time. You know what they say. It's number time. Yeah, content ID match? Yeah. It's not a copyright, like, strike. It's just like... <laughs> It says, you're not allowed to monetize this video. I don't care about monetization, but I think it means they could put ads on it and I don't get paid for it. And when I put my VODs on YouTube, I actually, I disable, uh, I disable ads. I disable, I disable the video ads. Okay, so the five must be here. Whoops. And so, I don't know. I would prefer if, uh, they were not cont content ID matched. Because they, they classify it as a cover. Because it's basically the background music of one of their uh, the songs that they sing. Sometimes they're just like, this is the raw music. You're literally just reproducing the raw music. I mean, I guess I could just mute the thing. <laughs> it's not a raw music. No, no, no. Also, yeah, I mean on, on YouTube. Twitch, it's perfectly fine on Twitch. Their content ID is not as advanced as YouTube. So simply doesn't simply doesn't get, get tracked. Susan. How could she do this? How could Susan do this to me? The streamer. Does she not even- she doesn't even know what it's like. 
the streamer life. Okay, we got this one. We got uh, uh so we got with the three. We got this one there. We got this one. Got that one. Can't be here. This is probably a three. Whoops. Got that one. This three must be there. Uh, one, two, two. This one has to be a two, so this has to be the three. We got the, uh, there's nothing here. So this must be the two. That's done. This is done. That's done. You're all done. You're literally all done. Look at this. They're done. This one's done. That one's done. That one's done. Who is this? We don't know because it's a, it's like a big puzzle. <laughs> Wow, look, wait, look at all those animals. We got the animals. Let's do this one. Done yet? Well, this is a weird shape. You never get this, right? In Mario Pacross, they never do 10 by 5s. It's always a square number. You never get this. Mario will never. He would never. Coward. What a coward. Okay, the four is there. They got the two. Three. Got that two, one, three. Two. Gotta be there. Yeah, it has to. It literally has to. Okay, there's nothing there. Nothing here. We got the one. Got the other ones. Yo, how is it so squished? How can they how can they squish? We got this one. Two two one. This one must be there. Got the two. Two literally has to be there. We got the three. Got the three. Got the one. Easy. So easy. Who knows? I don't even know what this is. We simply don't know. We simply don't know. There's just more to the puzzle. We gotta solve it. Gotta, gotta solve it. Let's uh, stop playing the music. Stop playing the music. Uh, let's do this one. <laughs> it's weird. We you, tr you try to press like up and down. What the heck? Oh, you try to press up and down. It doesn't work. You have to press left and right. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Wait, you know, I'm gonna take this opportunity to explain Picross, okay? Okay, so pick cross. No, this one is too straightforward. It's too obvious. Some people are like, what the heck is pick cross? Oh, this one is too easy. Welcome, toaster. We were literally talking about toasters earlier. And I was like, toaster's not even here. Okay, we got the five. Let's do this one. Okay, this will be my opportunity to explain pick cross, okay? Once again, me here with the tutorial. Okay, so in Picross, what happens is you have numbers and they're separated out, right? What this one says, it, it means you have a two separated by an unknown number of spaces and then a one. Now, if we look at this five, we can simply say it's solved. Look at that. Now that we have this, we can say, okay, now given this, we have the entire edge of the top. And so you look at this four and you say, it's got to go down here, right? You do this and then simply you got the two, you got the two here. It goes this way. And cross this off because this is a one. You go here. This is a three. So it's got to go down here. Right, you can cross these off. And then you know this is a two, so it's got to be there. And then, well, this one is too straightforward. Come on. Okay, so look at this one. You have a two here, right? Now, if you started here, it, it has to be in the middle. 
because the two could be here and here, or it could be here and here. So those two overlap here, so it's got to be there. And then if you look at the remainder, you got the one here, you got the two, so you know it has to be here. It's getting my COVID booster. Pog. Now you're immune to everything. Okay, let's do this one. 10 by 5 strange puzzle size. Now we're gonna go through... Like, no one who's even watching this even cares. <laughs> but, you know, I just gotta do it. In case someone doesn't know. Didn't catch it. Yeah, okay, so we got this one. Okay, let's look at this. We got the 10, literally just math. It's just solved. We got the 5, that's literally just solved. We got this 4. This 4 goes, like, we know something's here. It's gotta go up to here. Simply because. And then, this one, these are too easy. These are too easy. You got this one, you got the three and the one. Okay, you got the two here. I'm gonna cross that off, because we already have the two. We have this four, right there. It foregoes everything. And then this two, right? This two, we have this space. It can go up here, it can go down here. But it cannot be in these two spaces. So you cross that off. And then we look at this one. We got the one and the two, right? You got this one. We know the two has to be here or here. But now it can't be, cannot be in here, right? Because of reasons. And uh, so we know this three, actually, it has to be here because it's on the edge. Cross that off. And then we look with this two right here. This literally got to be here, right? You can cross that off. And now, now we look at this one. We cross everything off here. There's a one. We solved that one. So for this two, we don't yet know. Actually, we do. Look, look at this one. We got the four and the two, right? The two cannot fit in here because you need at least two spaces, right? And so you can cross that off. And then you can say, okay, look at this two. Gotta be there. It literally, whoops, whoops. Literally has to be there. And then you look at this one. This is the one. You can cross off the ones next to it. And then this one down here, there can only be one space. You look at these three. It can't be here or here, so it's gotta be literally that. Am I right, gamers? So true. So true. So true. Okay. And then, and then I keep talking, we got the 10-5. Oh, look, we got one crossed off already. When there's zero, it means there can be nothing in there. So we got this five. Whoops. We got the five. All right, so we solved this one. Now that we have the edge, we can just take the, the numbers on the, the far side. So you got this two. You got this two. There's a one, so it can't be here. We got a two here and two there. Now we just have to solve the rest of it. And so the most obvious thing to do is to look at this big number, right? We've got a big number four. And so here's the logic for four, right? The four could start here. It must go down to here, right? Or it could go here. But as you can tell, the three spaces in between, it has to be there. Right, so we got this, we got this one. And then... The next thing you could do, you could look at this two, right? This two right here. Oh, we already know we have a space here, right? So this tells us the two here can go this way, or it could go this way. But no matter where you go, it can't go here. You could apply the same logic to this and this. You can cross those off. And then... You can look at this one, right? This 2 and a 1. You know, here's what we call, uh, I don't know if there's a name for it. But basically, you start from the edge, right? You got a 2 here. It could go here. And then you have the 1 here. Right, you could have you could have this and this. The other thing is you start from the bottom. And now we're here. We start from the bottom, now we're here. You can be like here. And then the 2, it goes up to there. But no matter which way you choose, these two... 
right? And then you got this one. So this one must be here. It must be part of the two, right? You got this one. And this two, this two right here, we have the two. So we solved it. That's done. It's perfectly done. And then if we look at this two, right? It can't be here because you need at least two spaces for the two. So it can't be there. You could apply the same logic with the two here. You can go here or here. So it's got to be in the middle. You've got this two and cross all of these off. And then with this one, you know, there's a two and a one. So there's no space for the one up here. So literally it has to be here. Am I right? You look at this one. You got the ones. So you can cross off the ones next to it. And you got this four right here. It must be there. And then you look at this three. You got the three, one, two. You're like, hmm, what does that mean? Well, you can't put a three in here, right? You can't do that. So you can cross this off. So the three must go this way. And cross this off. You got this one. This one right here, it can only go here. And you cross this one off. You cross everything else. And then you look at this one. There's a one. Gotta be there. Literally only has to be there. And you cross all this stuff out. And then, this two. This two right here, I want you to pay attention to this two. It has to be there. It literally has to be there. You got this one, and then the only remaining thing right now is this one, and this one. What was there? Oh, look at that! There we go. <laughs> I'm explaining pro I was, you weren't even here, I was explaining it so well. Everyone was like, whoa, I can't believe you could explain it so well. I'm gonna explain it again. I'm explaining it again, okay? Alright, you, you pay attention, this is for you. You got the 9. Okay, let's look at this one, okay? <laughs> There's a 9 here. So we know the... My Oshi, what? Okay, so we got the 9 here. Right? We have 10 spaces. So what you do here is... You say, okay, where do the two overlap? If the 9 started here, you could go down, right? It would go down... Whoops, oh shoot. Ignore that. We get the 9, it goes down to here, right? That's one possibility. The other possibility, the 9 starts from down here, you go up here, right? You're like, hmm, what does that even mean? Well, if you noticed, from, from these, you got this one, right? You got this one? You're like, okay, so it's gotta be these, right? Because if you start from here, it goes there, it goes there. Can there be no gaps? So the way the numbers are laid out, right? You have a 1 and a 2, it means you have one space filled in, and then there's like an unknown, uh, an unknown number of uh, empty spaces between, and then you have a two somewhere. With this one, the nine, it means all the nines are together. So it could be either this, right, or it could be this. You got that one. And then, so the next step, what you can do here is if you look at this two and this one, right, you see that we have one here. Uh, that means you can't possibly have anything on these spaces because we already know the one. Right? It's there. And so, actually, the only remaining one's here. It's got to be in these two. And then, you look at this one, right? There's a one up here. And so we already have this one. So it can't be here or here. And then... Then you look at this two, this two right here. Right now that we know this one for sure has to be here. This can go either this way or this way, right? One or two, which means it can't possibly be here, right? You got this one, can't be there. And then you look at this one, okay? You got this one up here. And what the heck does that even mean? Well, we have this one, you cross that off because, you know, there can't be anything there. You look at this one, look at these two ones, right? It means there's a, there's a 1 followed by some number of spaces and a 1. So we have 1 here. The only possibility is this. Look at that. It's that. And so now we solve, we solve this one. We cross that off. And now that we know this one can't be there. We know this 9 has to be there. There it is. It's making sense. How are you making those huge ones? 
those you gotta think you gotta use the same logic all right so let's look at these ones right these ones down here these ones are uh just math right if you have a two and then some number of spaces and then another and then and then another two you're like okay well it's got to be there's literally only one possibility right a two and then one space and then uh given the other logic we've had right we have this one so nothing can be here or here same thing for this one and that one and this one right because if you look at this you got the one now we could solve this one right this two and this one has to go there then we have we have this this uh this column is solved then look at this one we got the six down here so we have this one we can go up right one two three four five six we got that one so it's uh solved for sure totally for sure and then the only remaining ones in this column are these two we've done it we don't know what this is. We simply don't know. Let's go. And then... I can solve. Okay, the remaining ones are 10 by 10. I probably have enough time for this. Okay, so these are larger puzzles. They require a bit more thinking. Okay. So this 7, right? We can use the same thing. This 7... Yeah, cause you start from the edge. You go downward. You got that one, right? The other way is if you start from the bottom, and now we're here. We start from the bottom, now we're here. And then what you notice from doing this is that we got this one. So it's got to be these four, right? As if I haven't heard this lesson. Look, I've explained. Denchi's not even here. He refuses to understand. Okay, so, so we have this one, right? We have these four guaranteed. Uh, I crossed this one off because there's the one there. We solved it. And so we can use, since we have the numbers on the edge, we know for sure. This one has to be a 2, right? This one has to be a 4. And cross that one off. We get this 2, that has to be there. And then, now that we have this, you're like, what else can I do? Well, you look at this one. You got the 2 and the 5, right? Since the 2 has to be in these three somewhere, has to be either here or here. You know, it has to be here. And then here, this has to be the 5. And if you look at this one, we got the 1 and the 1. So we have this 1. It can't be there. So now we have the 7, right? We solved this one. Uh, the 7 can't be here, right? Because it would need to go through this X. So you cross this off. And then you say, okay, I'm here. I can go down 7. It's got to be there, right? The 7 could be this or that. Okay, we have this too. We got this one. We got that one. Now, now we look at this. What you do now, you look at the big numbers, okay? You got the 6 here. So we do the same thing, right? You start from the top, you go here. Okay, it can go there. Or you start from the bottom. And you go here. Okay, so they intersect here. So you gotta do this. And then you know that since this is against an edge, right, this two gotta be here. And then there's nothing here. Um, and then... Now this, this is where they try to trick you. They, no, they don't. So this four, this four, right. This four can go here. Or here. They definitely intersect these three, right? It's there. And then, uh, now, now you have to think. You're like, hmm, what can I even do? I don't even know what this is. Um, well, you look at the big numbers, right? There's a four and a one. So we can do something similar. You can start the one, let's say, let's say, for example, you had a one, and then you had like one space. You had a four here. Right, but that doesn't really help. Does it? Well, I don't know. But then you do the other thing on the other side. So you're like, okay, this one, start from down here. But you know, it can't because uh, this has to be, if this is the four, it can only go down to here. So you can cross this one off. 
Ah, uh, but if the four was here, you could have the one there. Okay. And, uh, and so, <laughs> wait, does that help? That doesn't even help. Well, that helps with this. It helps with this. And then you look at the other ones, like, you're like, is this math? One, one, two... Oh, okay, hold on. Wait a sec, hold on. One, two... One. No, that's... You know, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, start from big number. You gotta start with a big number. That That's a useful... Uh, useful advice. The two, one, three row. You're right. Yeah, the big number. Look at big number. We got three, right? You got this three. Like, okay, if I start the three from here, I have this one, right? This three. Yeah, well, and then the one could be here, right? One, three. Otherwise, you start from the other edge. One, three. And as you notice, th these overlap here, right? You have this three or this three, right? The one and the three. And so now you have this. Right, you you have this, and you're like, what can I do with this? Well, you could say, could this be the two? Um, it can't because you would need you would need a space, and then three other things on the bottom. So you know for sure this has to be a three. And so if this is a three, you could go down to here. So it can't be here. It cannot possibly be there. And then uh, we do the same thing. We start from the from the top. If this two. And three. Okay, it could be there. Or this three. And that's it. Okay, that doesn't tell you anything. But that's that's the thought process. <laughs> Sometimes you try to do things and it doesn't tell you anything. And that's probably fine. Okay, but now we've crossed off two things here. So does that help us? If we had a one, one, two. Okay, so it does help us. We know the one has to be here, right? Because otherwise. If you have a 1 here, a 1 here, and a 2 here, the only place you could put the other one is here. And then if you go the other way, let's say you have a 1 here, you had that 2 here, and then a space and another 1. The other one has to go here. So this, okay, so this has to be here. Right, you have a 1 and a 2. And then you look at this overlap, this 2, and this 2. So it's got to be here. And actually, we've solved this row, or this column, the 7. Now, now that we have the edge for this one, we have the one, we can cross that off, because we, we got that one. And then we have this one, this 4 down here. It's got to be there. You cross off this one. Now you look at this. You got the 4 right there. Literally right there, okay? And then this is, you got this one. Everything in here is a 1. So there can be nothing here. Right? And they got this three. This three right here. Since we know from the edge we have this one. It has to be the three. There's nothing there. Uh, we know this one as well. This one has to be there. And then since we have the two and the one here, we can cross off everything. And now that we know that, the six... We know the six can't be here. Right, because you would have to go through the X. So now that we have this, you can do the same. You can do the thing with the six. It's got to go these ways. Got to go one of these ways. And then this uh, this is a one for sure. Because everything in here is a one. So it can't be here or here. And then. And then what? And then. Uh, and they got the, okay, look at this one. Look at this one. We got the one and the four, right? You know, nothing's, nothing's here. So this this four has to be these. Right? Gotta be that. Cross that off. And then uh, we've got everything from this row. You can cross that off. You can cross this off. Brain enormous? I think not. Okay, and then look at... We got this one. We got this three here and this two. This three has to... Literally has to be there. We got that one, and then you look at this one. We got this one, so you can cross the one off after that. And then, and then, and then, and then you, uh, chat doesn't know. I'm the one who originally taught me how to play Percross. It's true, it's true. Toaster was here. He, he's the master. 
Or he was the he was the master. What if I'm the master now? I truly understand how to play. Okay, so we got look at this. Look at this down here. We got this one. Right, the one has to be. It literally has to be here. Because otherwise, the other way you could have it is the one here or here. So we got this one. Okay, and then okay, let's look at this this uh this one. There are only two ones remaining, and there are only two open spaces, so it literally, literally gotta be there. And then we have this two, this two right here. We can cross that off. Now, okay, here's what you wanna do. You have this one, right? You know this has to be a one. So you know none of these can be valid, because this one is at the end. So the only thing left here is the two. You got that one. This one's there. And then you know from here, this is the one. This is the one. Can't be there or there. And then look at this two. Gotta be there. And then if we had, if this is the one, then this has to be the two. Right? This two? This two right here? Gotta be there. And then uh, we solve this entire, this entire column is done. And as well as this row, right? We have the two ones here. So we can cross these off. And then this six has to be there. And actually, this two as well. It's gotta be there. There's nothing here. We solved this row. And then uh, we got... Okay, so this two, <laughs> this two right here. We got this two. Cross that off. The only remaining two has got to be in one of these, right? You got this one or that one? Got to be there. And then you look at this one, right? This two can't be here. It's got to be there. And the final remaining piece is this one. It, you could tell by this one here, this two. There we go. There we go. We don't even know what it is. It's just the, it's just the thing. It's just a big puzzle. Alright, well that's good, right? I explained. I explained many things today. And I'm gonna end the stream. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for watching. Serval? I don't know. It could be anyone. Let's see what day today is. Okay, National Bartender Day. National Mutt Day. Business of Popping Corn Day. International Day. Wait, wasn't this yesterday? No, yeah, maybe that was something else. International Sweater Festival. <laughs> and didn't I get the time zone time thingy? This thing on the bottom right? This thing? I think it's called Clock. <laughs> what was it called? VTuber Clock. No, that's not it. What was it called? Oh, clock? Okay, clock spelled with a K instead of a C. No, that's not it. Clock at VTuber, what is this called? This one, okay, this one. This one, okay, this, that, there, that one. Half of the time my answers, I programmed it myself. Yeah, but not the clock. I didn't make the clock. All right. Anyway, let's see what is what else is today. We got uh, National Build Joy Day, National Catherine Day, Safety Razor Day. Yo, okay, World Computer Literacy Day. How did I get that list of today's holidays? Uh, it says it right. It says it right here. It says holidays from nationaltoday.com. Skip school day. Is that there? That is there. Skip school. <laughs> no, but I like the world. World computer. Literacy day. Raid. There's gotta be like a like a computer emoji you could use. Please ex explain in painstaking detail. Uh, no. Alright, let's see who to raid. Who am I going to raid today? Yo, excuse me, Gumi Honari is streaming? She's in this chat sometimes. He's doing a collab. 
I know collabs aren't the best intro <laughs> to a streamer because, you know, that dynamic when they're having a collab is really different from when they're on their own. But I never see Gumi Honari streaming, so. <laughs> send a raid. What's a computer? Well, uh, so there's like electricity and uh, numbers. Value 20 people are here. <laughs> what the heck? 20 people listening to streamers say numbers. Dang, that's a lot of people. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching. Tomorrow, I will probably play Mario uh, Bowser's Fury or whatever. Yo, oh, can you believe 20 people? Let's go. Pog. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all, gamers. We're just here until the raid goes. <laughs> just here, just here waiting. Luke Zaid, welcome and goodbye. The number is going. The number is going down. We got we got the countdown. Okay, it's uh ten seconds remaining. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Goodbye. Have a good Friday or Saturday, depending on time zone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, y'all. <laughs>